first time at, in New Zealand coming from Samoa, and they just like, who's this big fob, you know? Like, <laughs> like brass, you look like you're 32 years old right now. But <laughs> <laughs> My name's Ezekiel Lenemu, and I'm from Vaimoso, Manono, in Samoa. I got this tattoo in year 11, actually, and that was in 2014 when I was at Mount of Grandma. Kind of just got it, thought it was cool, but now that I look back at it, I'm so glad that I did because um, it just shows so much of my culture and my heritage, you know. I was born and raised in Samoa, so growing up, I'm a Samoan fan massively, and I think Khan Fotuli'i had a calf tattoo, and I actually went to the same artist, got the similar to his. That was a massive inspiration. But I was like a year 12, just rocking around, and I just, first time in New Zealand, coming from Samoa, and they're just like, who's this big fob, you know? Like, <laughs> they're like, brass, you look like you're 32 years old right now. But <laughs> My family loved it, you know, they just thought it was awesome that I was doing it for them and for me and some more, really. You know, I mean, yeah, you can't really hate on a, a traditional piece, um, whereas my other leg, you know, I got a little bit of grief from it. <laughs> I got this done two years ago, but I got it done throughout the whole year, the whole leg. Yeah, my first tattoo was the gorilla. Uh, main reason getting it was it kind of reminded me of myself. If you look at the gorilla, it's real calm and chill. Um, until you piss them off, so I kind of thought of that as being myself in a way. And my next tattoo was the line, and it kind of just resembles my massive move from Samoa to New Zealand, where I attended Mount Amber Grammar School. Played first 15 for them, and then kind of shot up in the rugby ranks from there. So I pretty much got the Love Yours, um, it would kind of just be like an add-on after each session, because I always knew I was going to finish with that down the back. Pretty much it's a song by J. Cole, everyone's probably aware of him. If I put in my own words, it's probably just the generation we live in now is everyone compares themselves to everyone. And it's more just a reminder for me, just to kind of stay grounded and just appreciate what I have. Yeah, so I've got three X's on my quad. My partner's actually got the same X's. Yeah, she supports me massively. She's always at home. I'm away on holiday with the boys three weeks in Oz, our last trip. Uh, but yeah, she's def she definitely motivates me, keeps me inspired, and she's a hardworking lady, so kind of keeps me going too. My next tattoo was Ray Lewis, someone that I loved. I looked up to when I was a little kid. Um, he just a powerful man. He leads through his voice and his actions. He's real dominant, and I love that. I try and copy a lot of the stuff he does, um, whether it's talking smack, um, putting a head on, and letting someone know about it. So I definitely try and base my game off him in terms of dominance and um, leadership through my voice and actions. Yeah. Close. My last piece was my granddad. Um, probably the most meaningful piece. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, he passed away four years ago, three years now. Um, so yeah, I kind of got that just in remembrance of him. Yeah, I grew up with him in Samoa. Yeah, so we, um, our house down at Mokokoa, just opposite from the hospital there. Um, granddad was there, grandma was there. It was just me and a bunch of my cousins and yeah, kind of spent most of my childhood with him. Uh, he kind of taught me the ropes on how to be a man, you know? Um, so it was hard leaving Samoa for that reason. Um, and I, yeah, I didn't get to be at his funeral. And I just saw his grave for the first time two weeks ago, so. Well, mom and grandma didn't like the gorilla. <laughs> and um, then I followed him with the line, and she's like, oh, you might as well get the whole jungle book on your leg. <laughs> and I was like, oh, hold on, hold on. So grandpa saved the day, really. So grandma's like full, she loves it. She saw it, she started crying. So it was, yeah, save the day. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs>